Well, I'm MonkeyRebel17, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to customize masks in my Solemn Squad custom mask add on on Steam. First off, you're going to need to get the add on from Steam. So just go to Steam, Left 4 Dead 2 Workshop, search engine, type in Solemn, search engine button, and it should be this one. Click on it, subscribe, and then exit. Well, not really exit, you need to go to the library. Go to install games. You need to run the for that too for it to download to your add-ons folder. And once you're done downloading it with your left for that too, exit it. And then you'll be able to find it in your add-ons folder. Once you have downloaded the add-on, next thing you need what you need to do is download the necessary programs. BTF Edit and your favorite photo editing software. Personally I use paint.net. Simply type in BTF edit into the Google search bar and then hit enter. It's usually the first or second hit that shows up, but this time I think it is the second hit. The first one is least updated, the second one is more updated, so we'll pick the second one. And you want to download installer. That's the one you want. Let's work it. And it should give you to the download uh, page. Or not page, but Menu, go out menu window. And once you get to it, go ahead and download it. Go to VTF Edit will download Paint.net if you don't already have a photo editing software. Remember that Paint.net is a free software and it's like a watered down version of Photoshop, so it should be easy to use. They may try to include a third party program or tool if they want you to install. So make sure you read everything when installing only accept the ones that you need, which will only be VTF Edit and or Paint.net. You installed your VTF Edit program that will edit the VTFs inside the uh, add-on folder, and you have your, you know, Paint.net programs or something similar to that in Photoshop downloaded and installed you will need to actually grab the folder that you can edit the Solemn Squad both add-on folder and in order to do that you need to open up a, a new window file explorer but for a computer so you can go to your local disk C where you can find program files or it's in my program files 86 and I just hit the S button takes me to Steam and I double click it and then I need to find Steam again, so you know, click on Steam Apps. I'll go to Common, and then I need to push L for Left 4 Dead 2. And then uh, I need to find Left 4 Dead 2, which is right here. And I need to go to Add-ons. Then I need to go to Workshop. And mine should be 3351841921. But in order to double check, just click on the similar photo with the same name. Double click that. And it should take you to a photo or the add-on folder that you see on Steam. And that number leads to mine. So go ahead and copy that and paste it on your desktop. Well, <coughs> okay. Bless me. And now that you have it saved over there, you can change the name of it. Preferably to Salem Squad. You know, this is just another one I have. But I'll just change the squad with custom. So now that's will be the name of the file. Now that we have our VPK file, the add-on, you know, Solemn Squad Custom Mass folder, we can go to. Uh, we're going to need a certain program that Left 4 Dead 2 provides us with. It's called VPK. It packs and unpacks VPKs. So in order to get the file, you just need to continue where it left off on the workshop one. You can just backtrack to Left 4 Dead 2, the first one, Left 4 Dead 2, right here. And then you want to click on bin. And then you want to go down. You can hit V on the keyboard and find VVK right here. And do what I did. I would, yeah, I think would be the best option would be to make a shortcut to your desktop. And you just you know, right click. And then create shortcut and then you drag it to your desktop and after that you can grab the one 
you know, Solemn Squad custom both games, the one we just named, and move it to VPK, and there it will unpack it and put it into a whole folder named the same exact thing. Solemn Squad custom games both, right there, on your desktop, or wherever you put the VPK shortcut. Now if you double click on it, it will open up the folder, where you can find a test mask that I included, uh, custom mask info, the add-on info, the resources where you can change the characters' names, the actual models, and the materials used to make it. Now every material, it, or mask material, is different from each other, or they're different files, but they're the same photo, so you can edit any of the files, and it will edit the certain survivor. But click on that, and click on Solemn, and you'll see Bill Mask, Coach Mask, Ellis Mask, and so on. And this is the actual one that the valve reads. This is the material file. This is the texture file. The texture file is the one that you'll have to eventually replace. But I included a regular JPEG of the texture. So you would just drag the texture to your favorite photo editing software, um, paint.net, and you drag it there and you just go open and then you edit it however you wish. You know, just do something to it. And I already made a template for myself, so I'm just going to show you that one. So it would be this one. So I'm just going to you know, quickly add everything that I made. And there you go. Voila. There's my new mask. And I go to File. I go to Save As. And make sure it's in the same folder that you've uh, had the other file at. So you would need to go to Desktop find your Squalm Squad custom both games folder go to materials models survivors solemn and make sure it's the same JPEG you can find Bill Mass since that's the one I want to replace I go save and override it and I go ok flatten that sucker and now it is my new Bill Mass JPEG now that we have that out of the way we're going to need to open up VTF edit so we would need to move this out of the way, hit VTF edit, open it up. And sorry my laptop's kind of loud, I have a fan near it, because if I don't have a fan, it'll overheat. And uh, you know, you can hit this button, but first before you do that, you want to come over here, hit the address bar, copy that, and go over here, hit export or import, wow, sorry, hit the address bar, CV, copy, you know, paste that sucker. Enter, and you can go to the same address where the other one stuff is at. I hit Build Mask. I open that up. This means nothing unless you want to create a normal map of that, but you don't have to. So you just push OK. Now we wait, and wait, and wait some more. It is a pretty, you know, big file. So oh there. Alright, once we get that, we'll need to go to the save icon, push save as, find bill mask, or whatever mask you want to replace, and you push save, and it says you want to replace it, and you say yes, and it saves over it, and then you can exit this. And then once you're done with that, you can just go to materials, custom bulk squad, you can change the add-on info to, you know, Salem squad, my custom, my custom and medium both and then you can just go save exit out of that and if you're you know familiar with 3d modeling programs like 3ds max I included a test mask that you can just load up and try your textures on to see if you like it but if you don't do that you can ignore that and well, you know if you have noticed custom mask info has instructions they're what I told you you know but uh, you're on the video already so just listen to the video. Alright, and then once you're done with that, you can go ahead and exit the folder. Grab this. This is the old one, so you can delete the old one. You can grab this one and then move the VBK shortcut and it'll repackage it into a VPK with the same name. You I personally like to try to keep the names the same, which they are, but they're not capitalized the same. So I like I'm just weird like that. Alright, and then once you got that, you want to move it to your add-ons folder. So you would find bin, because that's where we were last time. Just hit Left 4 Dead 2 again. Then find this Left 4 Dead 2, hit that one, and then go to add-ons. And 
you can just dump it right here in your add-ons. And bam, it's there. Then load up Left 4 Dead 2, give it a test run, and see if it works. It should work, but you know, maybe your texture is you know offset, so you want to move an icon. Because right now I'll, I'll post a video of uh, or I'll include the video into this file of what my render looks like. I'll do a full body one and then I'll do a mask one. And uh you know, hopefully that helped you out. And goodbye and good luck.